This Star Wars Destiny video is sponsored by Face to Face Games Toronto. They're currently running a special promotion for VTTV viewers. If you spend more than $100 on an order of Star Wars Destiny cards, you can choose from one of the three legendary cards displayed on screen right now to include in your order for free. If you spend $200 or more, you will receive all three. Face to Face Games is selling everything from Awakenings and Spirit of Rebellion singles, to Spirit of Rebellion booster boxes, to full Saga sets for both Spirit of Rebellion and Awakenings. Anything you could possibly need to round out your collection. So either email them directly at Toronto at facetofacegames.com or visit stores.ebay.com slash facetofacegamestoronto. Face to Face Games will ship to both the US and Canada. A link to the full details can be found in the video description, and don't forget to tell them which promo you'd like to receive and that VTTV sent you. Thank you for supporting VTTV Live. Welcome back to the sixth and final round of the Revenge of the Sixth Tournament from Face to Face Games Toronto that took place uh, on May the 6th, uh, very recently. Um, this is VTTV Live. I'm Travis. I'm Shane. And uh, here is a, kind of the top table matchup for round six. We just did uh, six rounds of Switch uh, for this event. We have uh, John Chan on the left, who uh, was on the stream earlier with this deck and won. And he's facing off against uh, Nathaniel on the left. Uh, John is undefeated, the only undefeated player left in the tournament at this point. And Nathaniel's... Uh, has a four and one record, um, so you know whoever wins. Uh, if if John wins, obviously he's going to take first in the event. If Nathaniel wins, it'll go down to strength and schedule between a few different players. Uh, so we talked a little bit about the Vader Raider deck earlier, uh, so we can talk a little bit about uh, what the Ray Poe deck does and what are some of the extra cards that make it uh, a little bit more consistent in. I don't know if Shane wants to talk about it. He's having oh, flashbacks. Sure. No, 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 no. I'm not, I, I'm, I saw the roll in, and I believe Poe won. And I, the Poe player is considering not taking his battlefield, which is the first time I've ever seen that. Unless they have a new orders in hand. I have seen them do it and take the shields and then do no orders. Um, yeah, the Poe deck is I mean, one, another one deck like Vader Raider that was made a lot stronger by Spirit of Rebellion, which right. is already strong, already tier 1 or tier 1.5. So, yeah, we've got a, we have a Sith Holocron immediately out from John. Mm-hmm. And Poe, yeah, so Poe is going to, that's why I'm surprised it didn't, is there New Orders in his, in his hand? New Orders lets him switch the battlefields. Um, wants to try to, you know, fire off as many specials as possible to throw big upgrades in the in the blue version. And uh, either U-Wings, um, sometimes launch bays as supports at the, the opposing player for essentially free damage. Um, right. So yeah, so he hit and run, so Ambush gets to activate a red character and... Try to decide what his second action is going yeah, to be. Not a, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a new order, but uh, it looks like it's just going to roll Ray out. Nothing uh, terribly exciting. Uh, whoa. Was that too disrupt? It's too disrupt. He, it's just, I mean, Poe, I mean, Poe's special is so good and Poe's other sides are quite good. I mean, I would have been tempted to fire off that two disrupt. Except against Vader. Vader doesn't necessarily need any money to do a lot of damage. Right. So maybe the Poe player is looking at, or Nathaniel's looking at this as kind of a damage race. Yeah. So he discards a lightsaber pike, so no, which means light bow. A light bow, sorry, handcrafted light bow, which is a really good upgrade to use with Poe's uh-huh. ability. It can do you know three damage to a character. Discards so a holdout blaster to reroll. He must have he must have um, you know other big things in his hand in case he gets that Poe special. Yeah, it's surprising that the handcrafted light bow because it's one of the best hero uh, blue upgrades to come out of the set. Um, of course, he'll just be throwing it, uh, not he's not actually installing, but. So we talked about how important the battlefield is. Um, we uh, kind of have some stats for the battlefields that were in play. What do you think were the top battlefields that saw play in this tournament? I would say um, Rebel War Room for all the all the decks that have a lot of characters. Sure. I don't think they're going to claim it. Outside of that, I mean, you're not going to see Frozen Waste or anything like you used to. Imperial Armory? Okay. So the number, the top deck, there was tied for top deck with five people playing it. Mm. Uh, Emperor's Throne Room? Mm, of course, yeah. So there were only two decks playing Poe. So that's kind of the, one of the more common ones, but uh, it was in a few other decks as well. Like Kylo Vader, we saw earlier. Kylo Vader. But yeah, there was only one player playing that deck. So 
I was a little surprised to see it rank so high. And uh, the other one was uh, Command Center. Given yeah. that there are mm-hmm. only three of kind of that heavy mill deck. deck, or the Rebel mill deck anyways, and only two of them were playing Command Center, I guess uh, there were some Jabba Ankar decks that probably were playing it as well. Um, with three people playing it, we had Rebel War Room, Secluded Beach, and then it was down to just... Oh, Secluded Beach. Yeah, yeah. Good. Secluded Beach is good. Um, we have the stats up on screen, so you can kind of see that at the breakdown. So the choice of characters when you're playing against... Uh, oh, Guard's an interesting... Dis- I mean, Guard's... Uh, you only have, you know, the Ray Dice can give you, but it can remove two Vader Dice. That's quite strong. Um, but the choice of targets uh, when you're playing against Poe Ray is a tough one. I mean, Poe... I mean, Ray's going to get all the upgrades mm-hmm. eventually, and she's going to get... Ooh, straight up into Mind Pro. Poe. Interesting. And she's... And, hey, oh, because I guess he's given up on rolling the special. That makes sense. I mean, he has four resources to do it. Um, so as you can see, Ray's... Going to get all the upgrades because a lot of them are blue and they can't go on Poe anyway. Plus, they want to, and she gives you all the action cheat. Um, but Poe's going to do a lot of the damage. Maybe not now that the mind probe's out, but Poe's going to do a lot of the damage. So it's often tough. Uh, but Poe's sitting at 14 effective health to 10. So I can, I definitely see why the, the Vader player decided to go Ray. Yeah. I, I don't think Nathan, Nathaniel's feeling great about his start. Um, he really, I think, wanted to maybe get one of those specials out, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think this is where he wanted to be after his yeah. first round. I mean, yes. it's, it's nice to get a four-cost four, four cost upgrade out quickly, but with the amount of damage that Vader and the Tuscan are going to be able to deal at, I, you got to wonder how long Ray is yeah. going to stick around. Oh, yeah, I don't think she'll stay out. But you never know. The big problem with going after Ray is that card. And he discarded oh, it, so would, well, he has whoa. another one. Do you have another one? That's yeah, a sure sign he has another one. Okay. So he's just going to overwrite the mind probe when Ray gets close. Right. And that's the annoying thing about... Now, he discarded one. I don't know what else hit. he has in his hand. So, hit run. Damage. So, he was able to activate the special die right away. Okay. So, he gets a lipo. lipo. So, just three damage to Vader. So, like like most good players, he'll try to take Vader at first. Mm-hmm. I'm like, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's basically Vader's a dig at myself earlier. But. Always the target. Um, I mean, Tuscan can get huge with the Holocron. Um, that's the thing. If Holocron comes down and hits, and they, people haven't done a lot of damage to Vader, they will switch. But generally, especially with the Holocron, you, you want to get Vader off. Because Tuscan, I mean, Tuscan's got a really long road to hoe to kill anybody you want any significant amount of life. Well, I mean, he can't he can pull the damage. Yeah, and there's four more to raise, so Oof. he has to oh the special. So he's got a mind pro special, Oof. he still has five cards in hand, so that's likely gonna be four damage. Well, I think he should definitely think about using that doubt. Uh he can't use the isolation. Uh, the doubt on the on the mind probe would be a good idea. Not only does it get you a card in your hand, but you know it forces them to resolve it right away. All right. All right, it has two special sides, so it's a good chance it's going to come up again. It's disrupt. Not too bad. Takes with two resources. I mean, could have. But Vader has a holocron, so you know money for him isn't that important. Yep. So planetary uprising. Okay. Pretty uh, standard. Two damage when you claim the battlefield. Yep. Now that's why, so that's why I was a little surprised to see the guard get thrown away. But you have to throw away something with Vader um, because, like, the guard on that plus two is phenomenal, right? Yeah. You take a dice you can't use, and you remove two uh, dice. So John cheats out uh, the mind probe with a special on the holocron and pays one to roll it in immediately. Uh, uh, luckily for Nathaniel, it came up blank. Yeah, that would have been. Oh, he has one card in hand. But um, since uh, John is getting kind of close, I think. Uh, Nathaniel decides to claim, to getting the two damage, which John will deal to the Tuscan Raider. And he's uh, look, looking at his Maz draw, uh, Maz's castle draw now. Uh, did he discard it? Did I miss him discarding something? Or does he know how he can choose? Yeah. He can choose not to. Okay. Any number. So the he might have just drew and, and liked what he had. So John's rolling in. The Tuscan here just gets a resource side. He has some cards. He could probably uh, afford to reroll here. So Poe and Maz and Poe Ray are considered to be very strong decks, although I haven't seen it so much myself, but I'd be curious to see whether um, Nathaniel went up against mill decks, because the common wisdom is that it's somewhat weak to mill. Yeah. Because it mills itself, in a way, yeah. and it needs those upgrades, which can be hit uh, by the mill sets. No. So it looks like Ray, is, uh, Nathaniel's going to regret not putting out his one with the forest this turn. Oh, wow, that's huge. Um, sorry, is the mind probe? Is it three damage for the mind probe or two? It's three, three for one. Yeah, okay, so three for one. You can you can focus the Tuscan die to a one a one damage side, and yeah, that's I, oh, I, I, that's interesting. 
Couldn't he have killed? Yeah, he could have killed. Killed Ray. He's got a he's got a dollar showing. Oh, he just actually just does it the cheaper way. Focuses to uh oh, right, off right, the right. holocross. Right, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot he had because of the Mavs. He had so many cards. That's a there. really big swing. Um, I mean, one one with the force for free is a yeah. pretty pretty big deal. And knowing that he had to, that the Raider had to roll out. I, I don't think he, there was a rush to. Yeah, I, I, the, I mean, you know, it's tough to say when you're playing these games and stuff like that, but. One with the force is as good as a mind probe, so just overriding it, period, is fine. Just in case, is fine. Yeah, and I, I think uh, I, I, talking to Nathaniel afterwards, I, I think he was uh, feeling that he had kind of made a couple errors in this game and wish mm-hmm. he wish he had uh, had a bit more time to think through things. Yeah, because I mean, I think Ra- Vader's on four, right? Like that's the Vader damage. That's Vader off, damage off Vader. Yeah, so he's got nine. He's got fifteen damage to go uh, versus Poe's fourteen. Not too bad, but you know we got a mind pot upgrade. We got the backup muscle. So Vader Raider is definitely in control of this game. And I mean, there's very few. He already discarded a hole up blaster. Yeah. Uh, so there's very few upgrades that are actually be played on the Poe. So Poe really needs to rely on his specials and his base damage. Well, his base damage is going to serve him well here. He can. Did he two for three? Yeah, so he can do six, plus. and he's going to claim. So that's eight. Two can go anywhere, but still. Yeah, fast hands. Another very strong card evader. Although, without spot blue, uh, the Poe dice has... Well, he has defensive positions, which is yeah, what you I want to avoid. I could have sworn he had the four damage on him there. I thought so, too. Yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah. good. No, but... Wasn't that? Yeah, it's just right now. Oh, it's a two for it's a two for two, two for one. Um, so it's four damage, and then he'll do two more with the planetary uprising in yeah. a second. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, which will, I'm sure go on the Tuscan, but still, that that was a pretty big round. Depending on how Vader rolls, that could really swing the damage equation. Right. Hyperloop was still legal for this tournament, I believe. Yeah, so Hyperloop was not, the errata was not in effect yet. So the Hyperloop and... Um, not that Hyperloop is available to Poe Ray, but, you know, to Poe Yellow, it would be. Yeah. I don't know if anyone was playing that. No one was playing that. Um, I, I, there have been very few players in our meta who have been playing Hyperloop. Um, I think there's a... Uh, people feel a little bit of shame <laughs> in ruining people's should. day that badly. Uh, I know I, I did like when it was kind of first coming out, I did take it for a test run in a tournament and uh, yeah, I, I didn't sleep well that night. <laughs> so I'll uh, discard here for Vader's ability. We've got showing here. We've got uh, a bunch of damage showing here. He can bring some uh, something in with his Holocron special. So he chooses not to fast hand anything, which I, oh because he passed. He's already claimed the battlefield. I, no, he hasn't. Yeah, he did claim the battlefield. Well, where did the two damage go? Oh, I guess he has not yet. Yeah. So You're he, right. I think he did. He fast handed. He was thinking about it. So we do have the vibro knife oh, out. So that's knife the, is out, so yeah. three damage is going right through the shields. We'll see what kind of mitigation uh, Nathaniel holds on to here, which is presumably why he didn't claim the battlefield. I mean, I'm trying to think of what red mitigation he has. Uh, he might have bought, you know, I don't, I mean, he might have brought in like a, a field medic, like he is. Field medic, sure. Just to but I think get defense, he'll have defensive positions and he'll have um, rebel assault. Yeah. I think that's about the only thing. And rebel assault's only for non damage dice. So maybe the holocron would probably be a good target. Yeah. Well, and even taking uh, the Vader dice out, out to yeah. avoid the reroll that is all but inevitable. Yeah. So it looks like he's looking to uh, do some reroll and draw, but he's also sitting on a four oh. strike. So four strikes and other three unblockable to Poe. Oh, he's going to reroll first and see. That's a two, I believe. Do you just get to reroll blue dice? Yes. Okay. Blue character dice. Oh, the blue, uh, blue character dice. Blue character and his dice. Oh, yeah, oh his okay. Dice. Yeah. One. So not the holocron. So yeah, it just has to be a blue character, then whatever upgrades, the color doesn't matter. So oh. it's we have a claim. Yeah. There's the two damage onto the Tuscan. Makes sense. Which is interesting because Poe's certainly capable of doing four um, pretty easily. 
so I mean, yeah, I guess Tuscan has a some decent upgrades, but that is an interesting question, though. Knowing, well, I guess, yeah, he was going to put the two damage wherever. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty bad. I mean, he could have split it, but I don't know if that helps you that much. Um, but I still think it's it's a pretty close game. I mean, Vader's got a lot of potential damage with all his upgrades, and Poe's just all by him, by his lows him. Uh, you know, his two dice and planetary uprising, but not a lot of life left on the Vader side. Although, what are we looking at for Poe's going to probably take one damage and then three damage uh, through the... Sh I mean, yeah, one damage through the shield. a lot of damage coming here. Yeah, there's like five, six damage coming. Uh, plus, his force throw is going to get rolled in, I'm sure. Uh, not a ton to force throw. Oh, he, oh, he put it down. Yeah, because Poe's passed. He's just doing all his actions. Or Poe's that claimed battlefield, I think. Yeah, I guess he's not paying to roll it in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, what he could, he could only. I mean, he wouldn't force throw anything because it's all damage anyway. Right. His hand is just. Yeah, he's got the backup muscle. He's got all the damage that he's sitting on. And it pays for the range dice for mind probe. And then four, four more, well, sorry, three more from the yeah. melee. So, yeah. so halfway there on Poe now, mm -hmm. going into the next round. So I see Vibro Knife he drew, which is an upgrade he can play, although he you know, might need money for other things. There's a field medic in his hand, I believe, on a C-3PO. Pretty strong. Can turn the blanks into specials. But does he have the time? I don't know that he has the time. I think he has to try to get damage out on Vader. More quickly than that. Yeah, but C3PO is the one way he can do it, right? He could... Uh, there's no five damage upgrade I can think of. But, you know, let's see if he can get a, a Poe dice and a blank. Not not after paying, playing the card. Yeah. Oh, Mind Probe. Which, you know, it's always anti with Vader. I don't know if I really like Mind so Probe. Fast Hands. But Fast Hands makes it a lot stronger. Yeah. But because of the Vader ability and playing a 3PO, it's only yeah. three cards in hand. It could be worse. Now, so, okay. So that's an interesting point. So... Uh, you know, I'm sure John's played a lot of Vader, but a lot of times people will roll and then whether they, it's optional. You don't have to ask your opponent to do it. So in that case, he, he I think he shouldn't have asked for the discard. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be the difference in the game, but you're, no. you're definitely right. Optimal play. So the defense position, as you often see in these matchups, like this particular matchup, the defense position is the one of the best mitigation cards against Vader because you can take out, like, you can spoil his whole turn almost in some cases. Still, let's just three more damage, and when he rolls out... Uh, what well, keeps Poe alive? Oh, the four oh, strike. Four strike. Oh, look uh, at that. God, just like... <laughs> John is all about the slow in roll. In face, slow roll, the four strike. Oh, yeah, I mean, he had two on the backup muscle. Yeah. It was a he was a very, very uh, yeah. low chance for, for Poe. Uh, so that means uh, John has gone undefeated in this tournament. Uh, it took home the, the extra packs and uh, some promos. Um, thank you, everyone, for, for watching this event. And thank you, Shane, for joining us on, on oh, the commentary. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll hopefully be back with, uh, with a new event soon. It's the same thing, though. Like, it's so... Don't forget to check out the Face-to-Face -face Games Legendary Madness promotion. Find the full details in the video description.